Hello there and welcome to this tutorial. This is part of a web performance optimization series that I have been working on recently. Following Google Page Speed Insights recommendation, I have already implemented a few of them and you can read more about it in my blog and I actually added the links on the description below and as you have may have guessed it already by the image, I am going to be implementing this deferred off screen image technique which actually gave me the best improvement on lob time. As you can see, I went from 79 to 91, which is a great improvement if you ask me. If you want to see how we did it, you are welcome to stay and watch the videos related to this series. So without further ado, let's begin. Here I am on page speed insights by Google. You can see this is my current score for my homepage. Uh, on, on mobile and in case you don't know how to get your results you can simply come to this page and I have added the link below on the descriptions and once you're here you simply put the URL you want to test click analyze and you just need to give it some time and it will throw you your results back on my results I get 79 which is not that bad but it can get better if you scroll down you can see more details and the part that I'm currently interested in is this opportunity section which is telling me how I can improve my website performance and the one I'm going to pick is this deferred off screen image if I click here I can see it's listing quite a lot of images and according to this, it could give me almost one second of savings on load time. That sounds very good. I could bring my speed index down to three seconds, which is the recommended to get on this test. You can get more information on how to do this here on the learn more link. If I click on it, it will take me to this page explaining about off screen images, the concepts and even some tools I could use in this case, the intersection observer which as you can see on this demo, it can help you intelligently determine when to lazy load off screen images. You can see some sample codes and some demos of how you could use it and more links if you want more details. One of the things that makes the intersection observer a very good candidate to use is that it has native support in most of the major browsers. As you can see here on, I can, on can I use page? Pretty much all browsers except IE supported, so we don't need to add any third party library. And if you need to support IE or other browsers, there are polyfields available out there. So far, I have been showing you how you can find your way around the page speed insights recommendations, but now let's analyze what is this all about. I will open my home page, and as you can see, once it's load, the only image I can see is this one, but as we scroll down, you can see there is more images, and actually a lot more. And while I have some animations in place for the image to appear until you scroll down, it's just an animation. The truth is, all of my images are downloaded on the initial load. Let me demonstrate it using the Chrome Developer Tools here on the Network tab. I'm filtering by images and you can see that all of my images have been downloaded. And now I'm going to clean here and scroll down. And you can see that while the images are appearing until I scroll down, there is no additional request for the images. The reasoning behind this recommendation is this. Look, you are making your user download all of the images for your homepage initially. And there are high probabilities that they won't scroll down all the way to the bottom Therefore, you are making them waste time and bandwidth for images that they probably won't even see. Instead, why don't you just load the images that the user will immediately see and only if the user scrolls down, then you start loading the necessary image. That way, you save the user time and bandwidth. No doubt, that is a good recommendation. But how do I implement it? Well, it's actually very easy and there is multiple ways to do it. I'm going to show you how to do it the way Google recommends it. I'm going to open the source code for my personal website to demonstrate it. I use Commander as my console application and do not be confused for what just happened. I have run a Commander task that opened three tabs for me. On the right upper side is running my website on localhost and on a specific port. Down here is running Webpack to watch and build my frontend assets. And over here on the left 
it has opened my source code on Visual Studio and is currently it's currently showing me my git status. If you're interested in knowing more about Commander, I have a blog post on how to do this and the link is below in the description. Here I have my website running on localhost and actually I have already implemented this technique but I have done it on my blog post pages. Let me demonstrate it to you how it looks. You can see that as I scroll down the images are appearing and this time it's not just an animation, they are actually being loaded until you scroll down. Let me demonstrate it again using the Chrome Developer Tools. I'm going to refresh the page and you can see that only a few images were loaded and many of them actually come from this embedded YouTube video. I know the names of some of my images and I can filter here by it to see if they were loaded. Once it's one of them is called ranking and the other one main. As you can see here I get nothing. I will clean here and start scrolling down. As you can see the images are now being downloaded as I continue to scroll. And I'm going to reload again. And you can see that those images are not downloaded initially. Now I'm going to simulate a slower connection so that you can see clearly what's happening. You can see that as I scroll down, there is actually a placeholder and once the image loads, it kind of blur in, which creates a nice visual effect. If you're familiar with Medium, this is a similar technique as the, as the one they use. I hope you are now clear on what the goal is and if you're interested in learning how I did it, please join me on the next video as I implement this.